from Senate Homeland Security. Senator, I don't know how you do it. We watched the hearing today. I don't know how you keep your composure and your, your, you know, your patience because Secretary of Homeland Security Mayorkas, he's saying nothing about the 8 million illegals caught crossing under this Biden White House, nearly 1,300 terrorists caught under this Biden White House on the watch list trying to cross, but he's blaming Congress? What do you say? Well, Liz, it is very painful. I think that our secretary has no idea how concerned people are back home about their safety and security. Um, I think that he doesn't either know that he doesn't know the answer or he refuses to answer the questions. He refuses to, to take any type of accountability from the standpoint that their policies have turned on this magnet so that 8 million people have crossed the border illegally under their watch. Uh, the only fact we got out of him today is that he admits that 600,000 gotaways have crossed the border this year alone. 600,000 gotaways, people we have no idea where they're from, what they're doing here where they are now you know senator i mean it's just unfathomable what's going on uh under this biden white house with this homeland security secretary there were fireworks senator josh hawley confronted uh mayorkas over a, a dhs worker posting an image of a hamas paraglider flying into israel saying yay hamas that's a dhs worker let's watch what happened you were there let's get your reaction an employee of the department of homeland security who posted these comments on October the 7th. That's not all she posted. She also posted this graphic. Now this is a fake graphic, I wanna be clear, but I think we understand it. This is a paraglider, a Hamas paraglider, depicted here with a machine gun flying into Israel. She posted it under her online alias with the celebratory Free Palestine. Four things I'd like to say to you. Number one, your question to suggest that it, that is emblematic of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security is despicable. Number I'm sorry, two, what have you, this person works for the Department of Homeland Security. Have you fired her? You have employees who are celebrating genocide and you are saying it's despicable for me to ask the question? Senator, when you heard, when you saw that, what was your reaction? Well, I was in, in shock as well, and I would just encourage the secretary to not be so defensive, to take accountability for this employee and say, look, this employee made a mistake, she's no longer working for us, and we're going to move on. But instead he projects, he projects uh, what, what Senator Hawley was talking about back at him. Uh, this is a constant theme of this administration, this projecting what they're actually doing. I was in shock, and, and really, Liz, if I could just give one piece of advice to everybody to turn down the temperature. Uh, go visit the Holocaust Museum and see what the Jewish people have went through the past century and, and just realize that if we, they come hate the, Jew, the Jews first, they're going to come for us next. Let's turn that temperature down a little bit in this country. Yeah, that, I agreed. You know, many people would agree with you, Senator. But, you know, just getting back to, it, it feels like it, this, when you watch Mayorkas in action, it's like a circle the wagons circle the wagons kind of mentality. I mean, 8 million crossing, that's more individually than 37, the population of 37 states. Final word, did he give you any sense of comfort that they're fixing the border collapse? No, not at all. Just, just the opposite to your point. That's three times the size of the population of Kansas. 179 terrorists were caught trying to elude the Border Patrol. We have no idea where those people are, what they're doing now. We want to know about them. 60,000 aliens of interest that have entered this country. We want to know who those people are. We know that they're from countries like Afghanistan, from Iran, from Turkey. We want to know where they are as well. No comfort at all. I actually walked away more concerned um, than relieved. Senator Marshall, we're so gratified and appreciate you coming on the show tonight to share your perspective and insights. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Liz. Okay.